we, we love to get you caught up as to what you can do car-wise. That's why Ron the Car Guy comes in and visits us every week at this time. And not only is Ron the Car Guy fun to hang around, he's also award-winning Ron the Car Guy. As in last night, City View Best of 2016, you didn't take home one award. Mr. Ron the Car Guy. Nope. Dose of those babies. We, we got dose awards, and, and it's not just Ron the Car Guy. I'll, I'll give credit to, to all the people that work for Westside Auto Pros. I mean, they, they really uh, see my vision and, and um, you know, see what I'm trying to attain, and, and, and they work towards it as well. And that, that's what causes people to, to win awards and, and, and get the votes and stuff for City View. That, that was a great, great event they put on last night. Yeah, and let's show the first one here. The first okay. one is the obvious one. Here you go. The first one is Best Auto Shop. Yep, and uh, this is uh, this is the eighth year in a row. Wow! That we have received this. Ooh, so we're, pretty we're, cool. Yeah, we're very we're very proud of this. And, and again, it's you know it's it, it's it's Joe and and Heather and all the people that work at well, the front counter. Well, let's not get carried away. It's Heather, not. not so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. And then the the second. One. <laughs> all right. The second one. I the think second one caught you off guard. Well, it, it did. It did because this is uh, this is something that's a little bit uh, newer for us. I mean, we're we're the the. Um, the, the rookie in the, in this industry, so to speak, in Des Moines, but but it has grown rapidly for us. And uh, this was uh, best towing services, and uh, and there again, it's uh, you know the, the, this part of our business has has nearly tripled mm -hmm. in the last 12 months. And of course, with that comes comes growing pains as well. But um, yeah, this was this was a, a very very. Uh, honorable award that we received and uh and, and again i'm i'm not the one out there at uh three o'clock in the morning driving the truck down the interstate I've got, I've got some really really good uh employees and uh team members that help with this and helped us to receive this award and hit on that just a little bit ron because i know we talk about it various times on the program but you do have a service so if you're out and about you find one of those slick spots this morning and you find yourself in a spot you don't want to be in you guys can help people out. oh absolutely absolutely and and i you know when i when i left this morning the the streets you know the parking lots were just wet and, and when i got here uh, even your parking lot out here, it, it's starting to crystallize and stuff on there. I, mm. um, I think the temperatures are dropping or something, and it, and it could get slick, and you could need, uh, you know, towing services. Yeah, I, like I think that. it's as you go east, isn't it, Jason? That things get east icier. and west, basically, Both, yeah. really, away from the middle of the city. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday morning, one of our, our tow, uh, we, one of our tow truck uh, drivers uh, had called me. Uh, and he was uh, over in Omaha. We had to take a car over to Omaha, and um, he he asked what the road conditions and the weather was like here because it was it was snowing. They got a lot of snow over there mm -hmm. um, yesterday, yesterday morning. morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but you see, uh, best of City Views, best of this is a big deal. Pretty fancy setup over at Beer Can Alley yesterday. We're gonna finish it up tonight. Three more categories tonight. But we ended up getting all dressed up. Um, uh, Craig, in the back, if you can show um, uh, Jason, Jackie. Now we got all dressed up, and then, and oh, then look at that crew. There. And then we see Ron the car guy, and you look like he just came from the co-op. He co -op. looked like he was going to Beer Can Alley. <laughs> yeah, all right. so we I said, was going to Beer Can so, Alley. <laughs> so we sit on stage, and we're going to make sure. See, Ron, you've been there in a tux before. You I, I have. Up and, and, and you kind of caught us off guard. Well, I loaned my tux to Jason oh, this year. So, I mean, so yeah, you're, you're going to be on the show. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna fix you up here with a bow tie. Here to do your little I'll thing. I'll be impressed uh, if you know how to tie that. No, exactly. Okay, this is how I tie a bow tie. It looks good. Okay. For Ron there, the car guy. There, there it is. There we go. Perfect. There it is. This is perfect. professional. There it is. Nice. See that? Yeah. Absolutely. It looks good. Yeah, it looks it good does. on you. People yeah. should take you very yeah. seriously now. Exactly. So, exactly. Uh, I know take you, me seriously? No. Uh, so I know you have something very important to talk about, but if people are getting ready to head out the door soon, what's the number in case they do get caught in a slick spot? Uh, it's 515-309-1911. Uh, Put it in your phone now. That's right. Have it ready to go. 309-1911. Right. Got it. All right, perfect. So, what are we chatting about this morning? You know, we're we're going to talk about um, I, I call it the U-turn button uh, that we sometimes see on our car, and uh, we we've got a graphic here to put up, uh, and and that's oh, the, the the recirculation. The exactly, exactly. It's the recirculation button, um, sometimes referred to as the U-turn button. If you're driving down the road and you push that, your car will not make a U-turn. Oh. Um, but it's a question we get asked a lot: um, is when should I use this? When you go by a hog lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this segment's over. Jason, answer the question. <laughs> no, but, but all cars have that. Uh, it's incorporated into the, the heater and the air conditioning uh, controls. And, uh, you know, like I said, we get questions as to, to when to use it or what it does. 
And um, even like in the winter months, this time of year, is we'll, we'll get vehicles that come in and, and they'll have a complaint. They'll say, you know, my windows are fogging up. There's excess moisture in the glass, uh, which is typically a, a sign of a heater core that's starting to malfunction. But we get in the car and we, and we look at it with them. And what we find is they, they've actually got, um, they've got the U-turn button uh, turned on. And, and th that's not something you want to use uh, in the wintertime on your vehicle. Uh, it, it's actually designed to, to work with the, the air conditioning system. And so what it does is it makes a difference as to whether or not the air that's going through the heating and the air conditioning system uh, comes from outside of the vehicle or if it takes the air that's inside the vehicle and continues to recirculate it. And so in the winter time, if you're running like your heater or your defroster and you've got that activated, it will just continue to recycle the air that's in the cabin, uh, which when it's doing that, it takes the, the moisture uh, th that's coming out of the, just the natural breathing and the breath of the occupants, and it keeps recycling that through there and it has no way to dry the moisture out of that air, and so it puts it up on the windshield and on the, on the side windows and stuff. That's why it's fogging up. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So uh, that's really not something you should probably utilize in the, in the winter time. When I'm sure some of the logic is, well, I'm gonna recirculate the warm air, it'll right. be easier it, to keep it, it warm. And it'll get I'm hotter. Sure that's, that's probably it, the logic. Absolutely, and that's certainly the logic as to how it works in the summertime mm. is, is when it's really hot outside, uh, especially when it's really humid, uh, to keep running that same air in the cabin through the car, you know, you, you cool it down from 80 degrees to 60 degrees and you keep running it through and it gets colder and colder and colder. Um, and then it also, uh, when the air conditioning system runs, it has the ability to pull the humidity out of that air. So that's why it doesn't oh, yeah, fog okay. up and moisture Got over it. in the in the uh, in the summertime, so the best use of that uh, particular button, that feature, is is in the summertime uh, when okay. it's really hot, and, and you want to try to cool the car down as fast as you can. Uh, hit the U-turn button. See you. Go. See, so, good to know. Yeah. Again, like, the, like always, learning something new. Absolutely. The other thing that that's kind of uh, uh, important too in the in in all times of the season is, and we've talked about it before, is the cabin air filter mm -hmm. in a vehicle. And uh, that's similar to the, the furnace filter in your house. And it's oftentimes forgotten. I mean, I checked my you know, furnace filter a couple of weeks ago, and I don't remember when last I checked it, but it should be checked monthly, I think. Right. And I couldn't believe all the stuff that was that was in there, and and it was you know partially restricted, and it just it looked nasty. You yeah. know, I'm sure a lot of the dirt gets pulled through it then and gets circulated through the house. So your cabin air filter is the same thing. It cools whether you're bringing outside air in or running the same air through the car and the recirculation. Uh, that cabin air filter removes the 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 allergens and the pollens and the dust and the dirt. Uh, so it works effectively, and if it's partially plugged up, then your heater and air conditioning is not working properly. Yeah, how often are we, we talking here? You know, the uh, cabin air filter should be checked and replaced uh, on an annual basis. Uh, and depending on, on where you drive, if you're in dusty, dirty areas, or, or if there's a lot of road construction, or you're in a rural area, uh, it can actually plug up and restrict sooner than that. So if you're noticing some uh, some odors in your car or, or maybe the, the vehicle doesn't seem to heat or cool, uh, it probably should be checked. Um, a lot of places check that cabin air filter uh, on most cars mm -hmm. when they change the oil. For the most part, they're relatively easy to get to. Right. There's a few cars out there that, that you know, you've got to remove part of the dash. But you guys can check them for people, Ab right? Absolutely. Okay. And we what if check they, them, we replace them. What if they need them. to replace them? Yeah, you can do them too? You know what? We can. And we've actually got a uh, Great Day KCWI oh. 23 Whoa. special. Um, cabin air filter, uh, the filter, the labor to replace it, everything uh, through the rest of February, we'll do it for $23. That's pretty cheap. It that, is. That's very cheap, as a matter of fact. It, 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 you know, a lot of times the, the filter itself is, is, is $23 to, to $40. I was going to say, I, I thought $40. Bucks. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. So so any car, uh, we'll, we'll probably lose money on a few, but um, it, it's <laughs> fortunately we're not doing this on Channel 8 or Channel 13. So. <laughs> KCWI 23 special, uh, $23. Uh, we'll put a cabin air filter in your car, and, and for most cars, you you don't even need a, a, an appointment. Just just stop by, and we'll take care of it. Perfect. Okay. Now, is it just under the dash? You got to climb under the dash. Yeah, sometimes it's under the dash, and, and sometimes uh, you access it under the hood. There's a there's a panel that we pull there. Is that where Heather comes in, she can go under the dash. Yep, and she's small enough. We can get her get her in there. Yeah, there, yeah one time her. we okay. shut the hood, and she was there. So, <laughs> uh, but if you want to get a hold of us, uh, you can just uh, give us a call. The number there is on the screen. 225 9090. 
um, or we're, we're all over the internet. Just Google West Side Auto Pros, and, and you'll be able to get a hold of us. Yeah. The, by the way, City View's best West Side Auto Pros. Just to, to point that out one yep. more time. Yep. And what's cool about this is these are all local businesses. Eleven thousand, right. if yeah. I remember right from last night. Local yeah. businesses 11, and voted on by people. local people. Yeah. Local people, local business. I love it. Well, congratulations. Thanks, and thank you. Ty looks good on you. All right. I might keep it. <laughs>